So with Season 15 creeping around the corner, we have been introduced to a few buffs, nerfs and updates that Bungie plans to bring out and introduce to us all. One of these updates focuses on the Titan Pacific Exotic called Precious Scars. This exotic is both interesting to use but also quite lackluster in application because of how specific its requirements is. Its exotic ability states that, after reviving or being revived, grants an overshield to you and nearby allies. Now this perk will get the most usage when in content that requires key coordination to survive as long as possible, but also offer you the chance to fight back in a safe manner, such as trials, competitive, master to grandmaster content. The issue with Pressure Scars is that it requires either you or your team to die for you to go ahead and activate it. This for something low end like Gambit or Legend Nightfalls is good as that extra bit of overshield can go a long way. But the moment you start to enter much harder content, that's where the exotic starts to lag behind compared to others. In most endgame content like Grand Masters or Trials, you'll want to die less as you have a limited amount of lives to spare, and on top of that you're not really helping your team out in any sort of way. And even then, it's still too risky to use, which is why you rarely see players actually use it. However, with Season 15, they have now decided to go ahead and buff it to where it now activates in a different way. Kills with a weapon whose elemental matches your subclass type grants a burst of healing and recovery around you. Now on top of that extra overshield you can get from reviving someone, kills made with an elemental match in your subclass will now also provide a burst for healing and recovery around you. Two things, Bungie is leaning pretty hard into the whole match subclass thing which I believe is a sign that they plan on making elemental worlds very dominant from here on out. But secondly, if I'm reading this right, this is a constant healing and recovery you're going to get when landing kills with an elemental weapon, which seems extremely good for such a lackluster exotic. This in short means that you and your team will be able to stay fully healthed each time you get a kill, which also means you can walk around and be a dedicated support player in whatever content you like. Now I have a feeling there might be a small timer in between how many times you can proc the healing factor, but it's still going to be pretty strong nonetheless. What makes this change interesting is how it's going to interact with Code of the Protector as that subclass focuses on supporting your team through providing overshields. With the constant healing and activation of Defensive Strike, Valiant Force and Turn the Tide, we can become a walking, unstoppable tank who is capable of taking on damage and protecting our team through the worst encounters. Now go ahead and chuck in Protective Light and the Bulwark mod and you're getting some crazy level of protection not seen before. Funny enough, I actually used this setup before when the exotic first came out, as I wanted to build around the support nature of the exotic. If you wish to see this build, check out the tag at the top right, as everything in that build will be feasible for season 15, you just need to change some weaponry around. While we are at it, Code of the Seedbreaker and Behemoth Status is another great subclass to use with the exotic, for its supportive and flexible nature. We do also have elemental wells which will play a big part in the build creation of exotic, so that's something actively to look out for as well. Now what I'm trying to say is that the exotic will now see a lot more uses in game once the new buffs come through, and instead of waiting to activate the exotic for your team, you can activate one out of the two perks straight away, which the exotic desperately needed. Content like Trials, Master of Age and Grand Masters may see a large increasement with using the exotic if the buff mention comes out true. And if so, we may see another top tier highly recommended exotic that endgame players will surely rely on. Now if you enjoyed the video then please do leave a like and a sub and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny related content if you dig the type of stuff link is down below. But once again thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one.